<laughs> hey guys, cool blonde way back. I'm Rick. Shane. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. And this is Mailbag 188. Everything off the table. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Another toilet mine bust dust. Everything's fine. <laughs> First package. Happy Sunday. The blind wave product. Merry on Sunday. Days. Hey. Hope everybody's Sunday is going well. <laughs> Hope you're not thinking about tomorrow being them. Monday. <laughs> Wrapped very well. It looks like a Blu-ray. Or a PS4 game. Rick probably already read it. Nah. <laughs> I don't know, I've been hiding it. Jesus! You're almost there. You can do it! You got the power! A better tomorrow too! Oh, oh we got a better tomorrow last time. This is the second one from whoever was a sending. I wasn't here, yeah, but what's that about? It's a Chao Yong fat movie. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ooh, that guy always plays a bad guy because he's got a great mustache and beard. <laughs> Chao Yong fat's a badass. He is. Um, I don't know. He's got scorpion pistols. Uh, Ryan pistols. maybe is the person that sent it. I can't remember from last time. Hmm. The sequel sees Se Ho working together with his brother Se Kit. Uh, to help police break a counterfeit syndicate, they discover Lung is in danger of being killed by his employee, Ko, who's masterminding the counterfeit operations. They send Ling Lung to a former assassin turned restaurant owner, Ken, Chow Young Fat, in New York. Everything boils to a fiery climax when Ken brings Lung home to face off with Ko and help with the help of Ho and Kit. It's a lot of like, names. I'm losing the names. <laughs> I love that like Chinese names are like one syllable. <laughs> it's Ken, Ko, Lu, you know. Kit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like I'll tell you what, Chow Yun Fat, I always thought <clears throat> he was fat. What? But he's he's a good martial artist. With a P. Yes, yeah, so that's what I meant. He's pretty awesome. Yeah. Hard boiled was amazing. I have not seen it. I haven't seen a better tomorrow. Do they call him Chow? Or a better tomorrow too. There's another one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, they call him Chow. Like, like his first name. Like our name, Shane. Oh, Chow. Like that's the close you got, and you're Asian. <laughs> Chen, <laughs> Chen. <coughs> Otherwise, Richard, Calvin, Aaron. Okay, whoever sent this. Eric. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Asian's the only one with one syllable. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Thank Rick, you. Thank you. Yep. Next syllable. Richard. Thank you. Oh shit! Come on. Package number two. Nate from somewhere. Nate from somewhere. Now, how do you know that cheer? Fight forever. Huh. Give it's a wrestling me cheer. Legos. Is that what you guys no. say? <laughs> I get home. Uno. It's it's Uno little. mini. It's a little. It is little. It's one of the travel sizes. That's pretty cool. Yes, actually works. But Actual size. A deck of cards oh is pretty gosh. travel size as it is. Guys. What? What? We need to play with. We have giant Uno cards. We do. Yeah. We give Eric these ones. Yeah. <laughs> I can make a game out of it. Yeah, but like we all have these huge cards, and Eric's like. <laughs> <laughs> they great. Yeah. It's but, pretty good. Uh, or we just all play with regular ones, but we give him the little ones too. Like it was work that way. Yeah, that's probably a better ratio rather than having us like six inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> World's smallest. You know, I think I've seen smaller Uno decks than this. They probably weren't like. Oh, <laughs> bitch! You've been tricked. <laughs> what did you think it was? I thought, I thought it was. I thought it was like this. <laughs> Not like this. And there's two of them in here. I thought they'd be much bigger than that. Hey, you need enough cards, man. Look at that. Look how how do you shuffle it. that? You just have to like. Rick can You have to scrub them. Mix them up. Yeah, yeah, you have to scrub them on the table. You can do it. Do we, need, do we need the rules? No, everyone knows I play Uno. Rick hates Uno, though. Do they? Why do you hate Uno, Rick? This is kind of hard. Yeah, I've played a couple it's times. Small. It's better than Candyland. Oh, well, yeah, but there's just no... Colors and numbers for kids? I used to play Uno with my parents. The um, It's easy for them. Joy knows how to play. She plays with the kids. The best move is always obvious. I'd rather play like a trick-taking game. Is it? Yeah. Is it always obvious? Yeah. You gotta try to think of what why everyone else Why does everyone has. always win? Yeah. It's, you, do you win every game of Uno then? It's random. What? I can't remember. Like, I don't think you can have a 
tournament Uno. Like I, I don't think someone. But there have been Uno Uno tournaments. Yeah, tournament. Uno, we're all Uno, Uno, damn it, Calvin, you open it. We're gonna lose them. <laughs> no, we won't. Uno team tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that I guess. <clears throat> Damn it, Calvin. I ran out of Spacey one wants to watch Ocean's Eleven. Why? Because he's shuffling? Yeah. <laughs> like Uno, you should play Linko. This is. This must be what Andre the Giant felt like trying to shuffle cards. Probably. Isn't every card game random? I mean, there's randomness in it, yes. <clears throat> but it's about like the level between randomness and skill. Like, like there's randomness in poker, but... Poker's about bluffing and reading your opponents to mitigate the randomness. Yeah, and Uno's about fucking him over. <laughs> but you, you really get the cards to fuck people over. I'll get the cards. <laughs> you, gotta, you hold on to them at the right man. time, plan your strategies. I, I played Phase 10. Phase I, 10? I remember Phase 10. I, I played that when I was like in high school with Joy and our friends. Like, I thought that was pretty fun. Eric and I used to play too. We used to play <laughs> for hours. So there's a little bit of skill, but like you also gotta pay. Like if you don't pay attention, you can like lose because of that. Yeah, you know I mean. Thank you, Nate. Thanks, Nate. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey. Hey, Shane. Third package. Not nocturnal. Not nocturnal. DVDs. Ooh. Oh. Are they television shows? Hey, Power Rangers. Rangers. Wild Force and Ninja Storm. Oh hell Ninja yeah! Wild well, Force is pretty good. Mal kind of like Ninja Storm for sure. Oh, who's that guy? This is that Black Storm? Calvin? No, I'm just kidding. wearing a mask. You can't even see his skin color. He's, He's the bad guy. Um, what was his name? Hi guys, enjoy Power Rangers Wild Force, the first Power Rangers series that introduced me to Power Rangers Ooh. from Not Nocturnal. Thank you. And hey guys, enjoy Power Rangers Ninja Storm, another Power Rangers series from my generation. Don't remember much about this one, but I always get good vibes when I look at this. From well, Not damn. Nocturnal. Spoilers on the back. Don't look over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna like Tommy or assume that it's the one guy that always comes back. Yeah, like, pretty much. That's what I was Tommy. Well, I mean, on here it says, since it gives wind morphers to the three kids that will transform them into Power Rangers to complete, to There's compete in the a ultimate battle. Well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm covering up over here. Cause like, it tells you that, but then this picture has more there! Oh. Sons of bitches. I'm like, damn it! Well, there's always five, what? though. Why do you have that and that? Um, Maybe it's like Monty Python five. Well. Three, sir! There's often six. Sure. Um, it always starts as five, though, right? No. In, in this one, it's three. Which Power Ranger to, like, some like, guy murder somebody? For most, like? for a lot of the season, I can't remember when it changes, but it's three, like, fighting for most of the season that I recall. Okay. But then, like, they add in a few others. You ever seen an episode of Super Sentai? Not an episode. I've seen like little like clips. Stuff. Yeah. My kids are all Power Rangers this year. My mouth is Spider Man, and Leon and Evangeline are Power Rangers. Hmm. Wild, uh, Wild Force was probably like the last one that I like really watched. Because I watched from like Mighty Morphin to Wild Force. Yeah. <coughs> like the. I assume the villain. I mean, he yeah, looks cool. That's a villain. Yeah. That's. Is he the main villain? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long time. Hmm. I remember. Uh, what's his name? Loth Lothal? Lothor? Lothal. Uh, Lothal. Loth something. That guy on the back of that one. The ninja guy. They can only mm -hmm. watch Mighty Morphin. Little Pan? You didn't do Turbo? Uh, what? Turbo? No. Or, uh, well, I saw like the movie. Power Rangers maybe. Turbo? Dude, Turbo almost destroyed Power Rangers. Really? Why? It, just, I, I, well, I never saw the movie. Just I thought the Turbo was so much. Good. So the Super Sentai version of Power Rangers Turbo was like a joke series. Mm. Oh. And they took it and like there was all these silly things in it that they, they and they tried to make it like a serious thing going on and like a lot of it just didn't kind of gel too well. Mm -hmm. And the whole series just kind of didn't go well. It's never recovered since. So the last season was Power Rangers in Space. And that was going to be the, that's what they call the Zordon era from Mighty Morphin to Zeo to Turbo to Space. Mm -hmm. And then that covers all of Zordon's like story and stuff that they yeah. did. But Power Rangers in Space did so well that they did Lost Galaxy. And Lost Galaxy wasn't even set in space for the Super Sentai version. They just added some things enough to make it seem spacey in like a like it was like a, a like a a space station that traveled through space. Yeah. So they did a lot of stuff on it, but it was in space. 
to kind of keep the whole Lost uh, in Space or Power Rangers in Space thing going for Lost Galaxy. Hmm. Hmm. So hmm. that kind of helped revitalize it. And then they had like Time Force and Wild Force. I remember Power Rangers in Space because Ninja Turtles were on there. I, I used to watch those. But I remember like thinking like, man, the other ones are all better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Turbo, I don't remember that. <coughs> Their so helmet like, designs are wildly different. I just remember like I thought like, doesn't Kimberly and Jason come back for Turbo or whatever? Um, in the movie, which... Um, in, in the movie, what they do is they have Kimberly and Jason, and they get kidnapped, and the other Rangers are trying to save them. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. From the but they always travel together. Trevor was the one that had Justin, which was like a kid, but then when he morphed, he turned into like an adult. Yeah. And it was kind of weird. Yeah, like yeah, I remember that kid, dude. I was yeah. Like, what the hell? Are you hang out these older kids, bro. And the villain was a little wonky and. I don't know. It was just, it was very weird series, and like the ratings really dropped for it, but then luckily Power Rangers in Space really brought it back. Okay. And then Power Rangers still went out. And then whenever Disney got. Well, I just didn't like fucking trucks and shit. And I was like, why the hell are you doing this? Why are you... Dinosaurs are better. Ninjas. Ninjas are better, man. <laughs> Dude, space brought it back, and then it started to dwindle again later on, I think when Disney had it, and then Dino Thunder brought it back when they brought in uh, another character. Okay. And then they kind of brought it back, and they've been doing pretty well. Cool. All right. well, Thank you. Thank you, Nana Thank you, Nana Turtle. Fourth packer. Although Turbo was one of the coolest. It was a key, right? Yeah, it was like, it did like this. Yeah. It did this, like, I don't know, it was so cool. Like, Zio was cool. Ooh. Belt buckle. Zio had this one thing that did. Try. They're like, Orbit. Yeah, they did like, Hero Killer Stain. Yeah. Ooh. That's so cool. That is great. Yeah, dude, that's 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 amazing. I didn't know they did a pop for him. Awesome. So that's, that's an exclusive? Um, This is a 2019 fall convention. <laughs> ah, look. Oh, shit. Dude, look at oh, that. shit. For the Switch. Oh, cool. Leave awesome. It. Leave this one in this. I don't know if it's, it's, a, it's a limited edition 2019 fall convention exclusive. Yeah. So it might, I don't know how rare it is. Oh, you're ripping the plastic off, Calvin! It's just the protective plastic, protective plastic. Aim to be the top pro hero or villain. Fight for your justice. Smash! What we got in the notes, Shane? Okay, we got... Hi, Blum, I'm enjoying your gift from David Jinstad. David? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. David, thank you so much. Hi, Blum, I hope you guys all enjoy these pops and games. Oh, we enjoy. I, Why is it plural? I don't know. <laughs> Excited for you guys to experience season four plus ultra. Plus ultra. Enjoy your gift from David. Thanks, that was David. David, thank you so much, man. We, we know games aren't cheap. We appreciate you, brother. You so. can play Sue. What, 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 what one did we play, uh, Rick? We played this at E3. Yeah, what you guys played this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was a demo version, so you only had, like... Was it the one that was All Might? Four characters, I mean, to choose from. It's like, it was at like Urgies. At the point, like, it was All Might was one, Deku was one, I think Bakugo was one, and then there was a guy who we didn't know yet. It was a, yeah. It's a 3D fighter, like, Ur like Urgies or Urgies. What? Or, uh... <laughs> that, that's your reference? It's great! It's better than... What's that, uh... Like, what? SNK, what's that? What's the other one? Uh... Urgies? Yeah. Or guys. I don't know what the hell are you talking about. It's a Square Enix fighting game that has Final Fantasy characters in it. Yeah, it's like 3D. Oh, Power Stone? It's like Power Stone. Power Stone, yeah. Power Stone. The Power Stone is the ripoff. Power Stone is much better. <laughs> <laughs> Power Stone, the ripoff? <laughs> well, it's just like a 3D fighting game. Yeah. You run around and that, it's yeah. just pretty cool to shut well, it was also This oh. also played similar to the, uh, what's the uh, Shonen Jump Force? Yeah. Yeah. It's, or, it's basically like the, the equivalent of that. It played like that, but only my hero characters. Yeah, okay. or like the Naratu fighting games of the one. And also, with us being all caught up now, yeah, let me see real quick. We should like there should be no spoiler issues now. With uh -huh. any... No, I recognize them all. Yeah, it was the dang it. What's his name? The guy with like the the half face. He looks this guy on the oh, right. That's yeah. who was the blue fire guy, right? Yeah, I think so. That was one of the guys. Oh, yeah. I can't remember his name. He was at the time whenever we were there. I mean, how's this guy? Also, I'm not sure if we knew. That guy yet? Didn't no, we? Yeah. We, had seen we knew him. we knew Stain, didn't no, we? No, we had seen. Yeah, um, we had seen uh, Tomaru. Is that his name? Tomaru. Sh yeah, Tomaru Shigaraki. Face man. Shigaraki. That's what I was thinking of. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate David. 
Yeah, thank yeah. you, David. Cal, Sweet. Quit Ma maybe we'll even play that during the stream. We'll see. Trying to take the we'll definitely play it for sure. So see it yeah, my son, my son, my son had to check this out or sometime too. Thank you, David. Thank I'm sorry, Cal ripped it apart. I didn't. Fifth package. Eric's in um on vacation. No one asked. <laughs> he's on a plane. Actually, he's not. Probably home right now. Waiting to leave. But he had to pack up. So I'm on a plane. What? You said it. <gasps> Me, Elton John. Oh, it's his autobiography. The hmm. great thing about rock and roll is that someone like me can be a star. Ooh. Yep. He is excited about that so, piano. He. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen Elton John? <laughs> All right. Here's a book about Elton John written by Elton John. Wondering if you guys saw Rocket Man and what you thought. I I saw it. I thought it was amazing. I, I have not seen it. it. Nope. Nor have I seen. I've never seen him perform. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, or Star Is Born. Have you seen any of the many or Bob Dylan? Three hundred. Or Last Samurai. Last Samurai. Oh, or Tombstone. Tombstone. Very cool. I feel like we're getting further away from the subject that matters. Yeah. But. No, I yeah, I saw Rocket Man. It was it was great. I thought uh Taron Egerton did a really great job. Loving Kingsman. I didn't know that Elton John had such a shitty life starting out. Like he had a real rough time of it. Yeah. Doesn't everybody have a shitty life right now? Except for the people that don't. No, I mean, he really had a shitty life. <laughs> like Jake the Snake shitty? Well, I mean, even like, if you go back into like uh, people... I don't who, know. Even people who are rich, a lot of times you go back somewhere, however they got rich, before they were rich, they had shitty lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, comparatively. I mean, like, if you're just a regular person, his life was terrible. Gotcha. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Like, his, his parents were... Not great people. No, oh, man. really? No. Oh, so like his his like childhood, like growing up yeah. with his family and whatnot. Okay. Well, thank well, you crazy. for the book. Appreciate it. This is this awesome. from ranting is always fun. Yeah. Well, thank not, you, not ranting. Cheap either. Thank you. It seems like broken home lives build great artists. Yeah. Um, also, like comedians and stuff, also come from a lot of like broken down, like yeah. terrible backstory stuff, and I think a lot of it's like they're trying to bring happiness to the people. When they knew that they didn't have happiness, like they're trying to find something else to give to the people, you know? Yeah. Or they try to find like comedy in <laughs> in terrible situations, you know? So their parents were doing them a favor. No. But also makes them so I should them treat into these my great kids. They all, well, they also use art as escapism, and then they become proficient at that later in life, you know, like storytellers and stuff like that. You know, people who would just be bookworms when they were little and had nothing else, you know? Yeah, and they also pour all that pain and torment and suffering and stuff into their art, and it makes it very moving for other people. Yeah, no, yeah. So, I always so feel thank like, you. Yeah, yeah. I always feel like like myself. I'm like more motivated when I'm in anguish. Yeah, you know I mean, like in high school, I would, you know, and everything I did when I was like, a, you know, what I considered back then pain. You know, I was always wanting to write and read and do all these, be motivated to do these crazy things. You know. Prove, Sarah, prove everyone Sarah wrong. won't notice me. I'm gonna write a poem now. And... Cut that out. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Ranting is always fun. Yep. We appreciate it very much. Even though it's a book, he won't read it. <laughs> I'll check out the movie. Uh, Not nocturnal. Another. How's it going, man? Again, dude. <clears throat> Who sent for my hero stuff? Not nocturnal. Uh, Who's someone else? David. David. Yeah, David. Yeah. Dave. Dave. Oh. oh, sweet! It's probably spoilers for us, but Shane, you probably know what this is. It's Dragon Ball Super. God forms. Yeah. Uh, you see Broly back there. This is awesome. <laughs> Eric! He's not here. Shane! Hey. Here is a SSJG Vedita for you. I enjoyed your reactions to DBS. Broly, by the way, I... I'm going to send a Dragon Ball quiz to you soon. Uh, get ready for there will be prizes for you to get the most. From <laughs> Non-Nocturno. You're going to open it? Hey, Non-Nocturno. I thought you didn't know what it was, and you're... <laughs> <laughs> they make... They got to think about merchandise when they do this. 
like, oh, yeah. hey guys, we're gonna make a new form. What are we gonna do? Change their hair. Then we can use the same model, just color it on the top differently. <laughs> That's all it is. Well, all the I mean, mangas are in black and white anyway. They don't articulate. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the things you lose. Alright, perfect. Let's get it. Jam on there. Yeah. There we go. Aww. That's a great looking figure, though. What's up, man? I do like Vegeta. He's great. How many other Saiyan ones? armor. He always wears it. Like, it gets destroyed off of his body so often because it just can't hold up to the power. Wow. The, the, the briefs are the richest people in the world, so they just keep reproducing it. They have the technology. Yeah. It's awesome looking. Damn. I'm trying nice, to find nice like George Bush. Bush. I'll see one behind us. I'm trying to find one behind us. They're like, I feel like they're, they're always like this. <laughs> I just feel like if I was, uh, who, who makes the, who makes the toys? Oh. Toys? Uh, yeah, like, they, 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 they Akira Toriyama makes the merch, like, they make the things, they probably get merchandise money from it, right? Like, I just imagine, like, alright, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna make the same model, color the hair differently, we're gonna make bank, baby! Bank! Because everybody has to collect it. Look at all the different Spider-Man figures there are, though. Yeah, but they're at least different costumes. There's different costumes, he's wearing his... His hair is different! He's wearing his Saiyan armor in that one, and in that one, he's just wearing the jumpsuit. He wore that in season one of the show. No, no, it's different. It's different colors, yeah. Oh, black. So you mean it's a different color? So it's a different no, costume. No, they, they had shorter pads. Any out of yeah. they had shorter pads. A scanner. All right. Yeah, that too. He broke that. He didn't, he didn't want it. <laughs> oh, after they learned to sense power levels, it kind of became useless. But thank you so much. This is awesome. It's thank awesome. you, Nocturnal. Yeah, thank you. We give this to Rick. Ah, oh, it, it says, says Rick. Rick. Even okay. though. Ah. Larger packages later. Yeah. Mm. Rick, no, Jesus, Rick, what are you doing? Opening it. Just cut it. What? Ah! <laughs> what? Candyland and Connect Four. God damn it! <laughs> Candyland, Connect Four. You don't like Connect Four? It's a Camara of awful. Are you oh. are you against Connect Four, Rick? Connect Four is a solid game. If you go first, you always win. If you play perfectly. If you go first, you always win. Yeah, if you play perfectly, you will. But my, my daughter really loves Connect Four. It's well, very good for her. Love it's a special and reason. And Connect Four. When you're younger. Together. Yeah, my kids are dumb when they play. Game mashups. <laughs> <They just, laughs> like, why the hell would you do that? Don't you see these guys right here? I'm gonna win, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I always like making traps with them. How does this work? Because there's so many different. Like, there's different candies. I don't know. What's Pop it say? out candy token sets from the removal bottom row. Prevent your opponent from collecting sets when the row drops. Oh, so not all, So it's like connect three, but you have to connect those candies, right? No, it's connect four. What? I don't understand this. What is it? I'm going to open it because I'm confused. Connect and collect some sweet sets. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah, Wait. but like... This has his address. So three tokens, but that one Rick, candy. So you might like this because it four. might be a little bit more intuitive than just Connect Four and Candyland. Maybe. What if you love this? We're gonna need some stuff. Oh no! Oh, you gotta sticker them you all. You gotta sticker them all. Uh, that's not too bad. You gotta sticker them all. Oh no! I have to sticker right, Columbia so... games, which is way more than these. Next. That's nuts. You just randomly put things in. And you pop them out. Hang on. So you slide this over, and then you can take out ones. Oh. What? Careful. Mm -hmm. What do we think of this? do that, then. This is engineering more jammed. Interesting. We've been jammed! Yep. Three, two, one. And you can also empty out the whole thing by doing that. Oh. <laughs> Which is especially fun for kids when they want to end the game prematurely. So the whole idea is to try to collect sets of this. So this is definitely a different Connect Four. I'm gonna go see what it's rated. BoardGameGeek.com. Is it? I think it's higher than Connect Four and Candyland together. Probably. You mean combined? <laughs> like their rating stores uh -huh. scores. So you randomly you drop see, those like patients. So you like shuffle them up and just randomly put them in, and so you just have this filled, except at the top row. Oh, okay. Is what it was saying. And so it's then, like Candy Crush. And then if you have any rows of things that match, two or more, you can try to take them out vertically or horizontally to take out those match sets. If you don't have any match sets, you take out one. Okay. User review rates it at a 5.2 out of 10. What's How Candy much is Candyland? Candyland Candy is not good. 
So more than half the people play like it's, it's, it's average, average then. Five is an average. I'm pretty sure Candyland is less than one. One. So it's above average at five point two, right? Because uh, in theory, ever so slightly, yes. In theory, five should be the average. Yeah. Candyland is a three point two. Okay. That's a Mr. Edwards. And Connect Four. Connect Man, 3. Four. Three point two. Really now, much higher than you the thing is, though, you can also play Connect Four with this. You could, yeah. I think. But regular Connect Four is a four point nine. So this is better than both of those. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The more than the sum of their Rick. parts. There you go. There you go, Rick. <laughs> now there's a new well, they're not greater than the sum of their parts because yeah. that would be like a seven yeah. or an eight. For the average of the two, it's better than. Yeah. I will. Might give it a try and report back. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Toss these back in here. Thank you to. Who's in it? Do we get a name? Uh, yes. I, I think I kept his address. <laughs> Gotta watch out, guys. I don't think he said anything about the guy who. Christopher. Christopher. All right. Careful, Christopher. He'll find you. Gavin, <laughs> don't break it. That's what Shane would say. Uh, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What other game mashups could you think of that would be fun? Like, could you put Operation mashed up with Monopoly? Jenga. <laughs> Jenga. <laughs> Jenga <laughs> Operation. No, Operation and Crossfire. Crossfire! You gotta, you gotta like shoot out the shit or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You get caught up in I've always wanted to play Crossfire. Me too. Me too. I played like, it once at Casey's house. I was gonna buy it. I always wanna play Mouse Trap. There was one year I was gonna buy it at Toys R Us for Christmas. And Mel and I went, we didn't buy it because the kids always lose the games. And I was like, well, the kids would like this, but I'm not gonna get it. And then like the next year, Toys R Us was done. Yeah. And then you think, yeah, I should have gotten it. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate when you want something later on and the price is jacked to fuck up. And I look at Joy, I told you we should have fucking got it. But yeah, no, I always thought it was like, you had those balls, you, you know, you oh, get more balls, so man, like, that'd be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're shooting something spinning in the, in the thing, you know? Yeah. Never played those games. Not as fun as Crokinole. Not as fun as what? Crokinole. That's fun, we can play that again. Eat hockey. That's the hockey game. You know what we need to play? We need to play, uh... That's more like no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, that's... Toga. Classic. Yeah. Hey, Miko. No, wait, she's the needle girl, isn't she? Yep, yep. she sure is, Aaron. Himiko mm -hmm. Kutoga. Uh, she's got a knife, but not a needle. Good! She doesn't have her backpack on, so... Yeah, this is just a regular... Oh, there's a Tokuyami. Yeah, there is. Dark oh, Shadow. Oh, there's Dark Shadow with him, too. <laughs> Another gift from David. Thank David, you, David. David, thank David, you. Thank you so much, man. We, we appreciate your kindness, dude. Love my, my hero. I'm glad it's back. All Might in a suit. Hey, it's Deku with the ears on. Like the mask on. Yeah. All Might, we should say All Might in... A business in like suit. A, a business suit, not dude, like a superhero suit. Guys, Momo. If you, we need this Izuku Midoriya one with the mask on, because Eric hates that mask. He does hate that mask. <laughs> I just want it for that. For that one. Do that. Then pop up and make a vlog while he's gone. <laughs> Triple A <laughs> anime yeah. exclusive. Which kind? Triple A anime. Triple A anime. Yeah. That rhymes. It's like a poem. Sweet. How many editors do it? Don't tell them about it until it goes up. <laughs> no. Go to Corral. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go to Golden Corral. Make a vlog Or Shonies. I think you would be more mad about Golden Corral. Yeah, yeah. you would. He would be. Because <laughs> it's a further drive. Because it's one we all want to go to. Yeah. As opposed to Empire Buffet, where he just usually wants he to go to. He usually wants to go to it. Yeah. Like, we go there we without him. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. Like, we all go to a place we all want to go without him, or we all go to a place that he usually wants to go that we don't want to go just to go. That's without him. That's without I him. think the place that he wants to go and we don't want to go, because then he knows we did because he's gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you go to a corral, he'll know you guys had a great time without him, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Even, even though Empire Buffet, I love that. I think of a great time, too. But he'll know. Def def Empire Buffet's okay. He'll know it's you not def terrible. Yeah. It's not. But I don't want that to be like great. the place we always go to eat. No. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Now Thank you very much, David, for the... Yep, thank you. You don't want that to be our monks. Evie was sad yesterday. Why? Someone in dance class, like one of the girls could snap, <coughs> and Evie couldn't snap. And Evie was sad. I've been training my kids. Colson can snap with like three fingers now. <laughs> I don't know how to teach her how to do it. It's like, well, just do this. You sit right here and you're plugging so much force and it slides off. Yeah. It's easiest to start with like contact rather than the way you do it. 
Because then you can build up force and then slide it off. That's a clapping sound it makes against your palm. You know what I find that's harder to do? What? Teach someone to whistle. Yeah, that's tough too. I couldn't yeah. whistle until I was in high school. Because you can't see what they're doing. No, you just do this. And they're like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that's what it is. You blow oh, out you suck in. I blow out. Both. I could do both. I suck in. It's much better. I don't suck. Huh. Now I can't blow out right now. Usually I can. I can go like in, out, in, out, in, out. Rick's like, I got hot cross buns, baby, okay? No. Yeah. And yeah, like, I used to kind of... Oh, yeah. So, okay, so, so you can't whistle like a tune. You can like make a sound. Is that what you can do? <laughs> <laughs> he did a tune! <laughs> he did a tune! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just inhale it that way. Huh. I can I can whistle blowing out. <laughs> and are you just doing like so uh whistle like, forever? Like that? Is that all you're doing? Or are you can you change your pitch? Cause you like, you like do you use your, your tongue when you whistle or do you whistle through your teeth? I whistle through my lips. Okay. As you do that? Because yeah. you can you can move where your tongue is and change the pitch. See, all mine's in my lips. I don't use my tongue at all. My oh. tongue doesn't matter where it... Do you have anyone who can do this? Like, yeah, my, my only... I, <clears throat> no, I can't, I can't do it like that, but I can yeah, whistle Dr. really Cox. loud. Huh? Dr. Cox would go, hey! You know, who just yelled someone to do that? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, I, I can't go that loud. God damn it. God fucking... That's loud. Ah! Next that's package. Not even, that's, that's not so even as loud as I can go. Go as loud as you can go. No! Cover your ears! That's pretty loud. Damn. Yeah. I can't go loud. I, I, can, I can whistle a tune. Yeah. But mine's all in my, my lips, and I think it's because of saxophone. Uh, because yeah. in saxophone, you had to, like, the tighter you could get your lips, the higher notes you could get to, and stuff like that, too. So I think I'm just used to that. Gotcha. Yeah, like, I, I, it's not about, like, like my tongue. Your tongue where's your tongue at? Mine? It's, it's done like this, like, right behind my teeth. So I, like, push it up the higher note I want, and I pull it back the lower note. And I can also... I can raise my tongue up off the floor of my mouth and do like a dual tone thing, like without moving my tongue. So I'm trying. To, I think my lips are wrong. Yeah, but there's no like pause between you stopping, changing to note, and then blowing again. Damn it! I don't know. I don't know how to teach you the whistle. It's hard. That's the point. Snapping. Do that. <laughs> Next second. If they're snapping, you just be clapping. <laughs> LKG. 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 I feel like it's been a while, man. Like a How's it going? Hope. Hope, hope you're doing all, well. Hope all is well, dude. Thanks for sitting the package. No, I don't thank him yet. It might be candlelight. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what? Is that just packaging? Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, it's it's like a it's like a takeout box. Yeah, well, I was gonna say it's like a donut box top. <laughs> uh, good stuff inside. Nice. Hey Shane, here's some donuts. Man, get away from me. Jeez, guys. <laughs> oh. oh so it's good stuff. Box in a box. It's like edibles or something. I don't know. Oh, wow! And it's another box. <laughs> it's, a, it's another bag, isn't it? Okay. That looks like bars of soap that are wrapped up or something. Honeycomb. Oh, honey. Whoa! Got a it's little like honey, It's real honeycomb. It's a honeycomb. Yeah. yeah. That's, that, those are really good for you, oh, man. Oh, no. They taste the, amazing. Especially the grubs are still... The there. honey's leaked out, dude. That's... Aw, oh, that's too bad. We still got honeycomb, though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Shut the fuck up. Well, I'm just saying you can Where's clearly see it it's leaked out. Don't it. open it. It's not his fault. It just <laughs> happened. I don't know what this is. I can smell it. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it smells mm. good. It smells like honey. Mm. Smell it. Smell it, Shane. Can you smell? So, what, what region is it from? Oh, man, it smells like that. This smells Marshall amazing. Farm. Hey, I, there's actually a Marshall Farm in Washington County. But I don't that think it's the same crazy. Marshall Farm. And there's like, what is it? Sausages? Is it, is it, is it warm? Oh, is that like a... Ah! Natural honey. 
Unfiltered, raw, uncooked, pure, unheated, unadulterated honey. Dude. Oh my gosh, this is great. That, it's supposed to help your allergies if you eat honey from your region, local area. From your region, yeah. Well, these are from California. Hometown honey from that might the help. Flying Bee Ranch, American Canyon. Man, aren't bees, you want home. Aren't bees Boys. like going extinct? They're they not thought, hungry. They, no, they thought that, but now Nine, they four, don't think they're hungry. Oh, Are you sure? Dude, look at that bubble. No, I'm not sure. Look at the bubble. I'm sure. I just looked this up like like literally two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. If they do, we will be fucked. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're the main source of pollination. But and here's the thing. Like, plants growing. And we make nano bees. Most of the bees over here, like, are from the old world anyways, actually. Well, I'm pretty sure. The old world? Yes. Europe. Like, this is the new world. <laughs> it's the same world. Well, like, when you're talking about crops and, like, livestock, you're a new world world. You know what? You know what sucks? We should take back to the old world, fucking ladybugs. <laughs> take them back. Fuck yeah. Asia. Well, take those take back. back. <laughs> They're not that bad. They're terrible. What? No, they they do kill aphids, which is which is essential to growing some crops and stuff. Yeah, dandelions in the old world. They're not great either. Oh no. Dandelions. Source of yeah. a bunch of not allergies. Doing great. No, they're not great. They said like they're dying out. We don't think. No. So. <laughs> they're like. Simon, you're scaring me. Huh? <laughs> Read the note. I'm oh. trying. Hi, crew. Here's some honey for your October gift. I picked it up from Marshall's Farm Honey in American Canyon, about seven miles from me. Enjoy. Also, one question. How many of the records sent to you have you heard slash listened to LKG? Pretty much all of them, at least once. Um... Listen to a bunch of them. Listen to about a dozen of them. There's... I used to live here, so I used to just put on a record There's every once in a while. Probably, like... Five that are like maybe like go to ones that I like to do, but there's also been ones that I just get like I just want to hear what's on this record. So probably majority have been listened to somebody at some point. He's stealing honey. Uh, what are you doing? He's stealing honey. You're supposed to he didn't answer the question. Of maybe like the hundred that we have over there, there's probably like ten that I haven't listened to. Oh, that was good stuff. I like the yeah yeah yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My favorite's probably the third eye blind. Yeah. 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 I also like the one that's um oh, uh, what's it called? It's like it's it's weird versions of songs that I already know. Oh, the jukebox. Yeah, it's a jukebox like classic, like kind of sound, whatever, so it's like more yeah. jazzy and mm -hmm. something. I really like that. That one's like one of my favorites. Yeah, that's good. I like the um uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. It's over there. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I like big butts and I cannot lock. You know, I don't think that's right <laughs> we, now. Have. we don't have that one. Um, I was just teasing because he said it. <laughs> what else is there? The video game ones are really cool. I like a lot of the soundtrack ones. Like there's these uh, there's Star Wars ones over there that I like a lot. That sound really good. Yeah. Are they all different? Does Game of Thrones? Yeah. Orange Blossom Honey. This is Bay Area Blend, which is uh, San Francisco Bay honey, Area. I'm home. What are you and doing? Honey, I'm home. I just put all that in like a, like a big plastic bag. You. I know, a little bit. Eric is gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah, he would hate pure sugar. <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna hate getting stuck to the table. Absorb it to his skin. <laughs> this is a great gift. Thank you so much, I, I LKG. Yep, love this it. Is great. Yeah. Great I love to, the, the very, personal gifts that you send. Very us. thoughtful. I have tea all the time, my honey. It's uh, yeah, it's great to stir in tea. Yeah, it's great to. I know people use it as a sweetener in coffee. It's actually a great substitute sweetener uh, for just any recipe, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I use some honey on my pork. Put on oh, pancakes. That'd be good. Oh, yeah, waffles. that's good. Just go go with anything. Yeah. And Thank actually, you. My, I have my honey. You know, I actually get uh, the honey nut Cheerios, except just the regular Cheerios. That you know, that no sugar. I put honey on it and bananas. It's really good. So you make yeah. honey Cheerios. Yeah, I just make honey. And I kind of honey banana things. Cheerios. I put pecans and walnuts in there. Oh, so, so you do good. make honey nut banana Cheerios? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, LKG. Thank, Thank you so much. LKG. Great gift. Appreciate it, dude. Seriously, awesome. Ah, you man. Ah, jeez. Ah, my ring is like driving into my skull. <laughs> Someone take Aaron's batteries out. <laughs> Lineware Productions. The toilet mug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a gross of toilet mugs. 144. This is like an item that we've gotten sent a couple times and it's never in one piece. Oh. Ever. This is why I hit him in the head. Do it again. Ooh. Oh, Carmen does not like these. 
Wait, is it a Ouija board? It's a Ouija board. Oh my god! I thought it was a bunch of chocolate. Oh my At gosh. first, I thought it was a Ouija board, but then so it said excited. spirit, and then I thought, oh, it's alcohol. I'm so excited. I've always wanted one of these. I thought it was chocolates. So, uh, not because, like, she's, like, afraid of, uh, of spirits or anything like that, but, like... Because you hit her in the just, head with them? No. Just the thought of people stupidly doing this shit in, like, Supernatural... She thinks they're the stupidest people on the planet. <laughs> Not use under the age of 18 or under the influence of alcohol. Yep. In the spirit of Halloween, I want y'all to summon a motherfucking demon on camera. Love, dumpling delivery. P.S. You guys should go ghost hunting, too. I'd love to. What are we going to find? Calvin, put your hand here. <laughs> like right. this? I even believe do you, it. You do it like I this, right? It. Yeah, you ask a question and then the spirits it. like guide it or whatever. Spirit, is there someone here? How are you moving it? How the fuck does that work? Calvin's just moving it. It's just bullshit. Man. He's like, no, I'm not. I see you pushing. Will where's, Eric where's die the in a Columbus and Arby's? Oh, I just said yes. Calvin, there's a guess right here. <laughs> you're supposed to circle it. You're such a dumb zombie. I've spirit. never used a Ouija board before. There's no spirit. Spirits are so. I would love to take this somewhere. Melanie would never, ever do this because she's afraid of that shit. She put it like. Ooh, what you need to do is, like, make some sort of, like, <coughs> box that it sets on and have, like, magnets control where it goes and stuff. That's not easy, is that it? No, not R. especially. You. You. I'll tell you what, it, it's a nice looking board, though, at the very least. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, no, it looks nice. Yeah, very nice. What are you trying to do? R-U-O-S. Rouse? Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Ah. They wanted to contact Ronda Rousey. Hey, <laughs> I flash this dog, Rousa. Rousa, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go to my house, do this, Melanie. They'll flip the fuck out. <laughs> Actually, no. It's R U A. Do it on um R -O Halloween. Thank you so much, everyone, for mailbag. There's a PO box down in the description if you want to send us something. We enjoy almost everything you send, unless it's Candyland related. But we enjoy it. He just does it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Much love. Come on! Aaron, what does the future hold? Uh, P A T. Patreon.com slash blindwave, where you can check out full length early access and all kind of very cool stuff for us. Blindwave.net has shirts. So check it out. This says. There's a special Halloween shirt there as he well. He says subscribe! What? <laughs> <laughs>